What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing how to download and install the brand new release of Unreal Engine 5. If you wanted to get into game developing, now is probably the best time to do it with a brand new engine, tons of new things that you can play around with, and of course the massive libraries called Quixel that you can use with Unreal Engine 5. It's a great update, it's a great engine, and I'll be showing you how to download and install it if you're interested in creating games. This video is unsponsored, but if you do decide to support me, you can use code TCNO for any Epic Games purchase to help me out. If you have it already, you'll need the Epic Games launcher installed. You'll find a download link in the description below. Simply click download Epic Games launcher, wait for the MSI file to download and click in it to open it up. From them, it's a simple install, follow the steps on your screen and eventually it should be installed. I already have it installed, so I won't be showing you that process. Instead, I'll just be opening it up directly. When you have the Epic Games launcher installed and you open it up, you'll need to sign in with your account to actually get to the main screen here. When you get to the store page, on the left hand side, you should see the Unreal Engine tab and upon clicking it, it'll take you to some game developing news, samples, marketplace, library and twin motion. What we're looking for is the download button in the top right, or if you already have a version installed, you'll see the launch. If you'd like to update to Unreal Engine 5, assuming you have a previous version installed, head across to Library at the very top and click the plus next to Engine Versions. If the plus button up here is grayed out and you can't get it to appear, head across to the Library tab, wait for it to load, then head back to the Unreal Engine tab and you should see the plus has now appeared. I don't know if it has something to do with the not connecting, but that's the simplest fix for it. Some people also need to switch to the Library tab, search for something and then come back here. Anyways, when you see this, click it and you should see Unreal Engine 5.0 appearing here. You can click the drop down and choose a previous version if you so wish. When it does appear, you can click install and follow through with the standard install process. It'll ask you where you'd like to install it. There we go. License accept. Choose an install location. And after clicking install, it starts the actual download itself. The download's around 20 gigabytes and when it's installed, it'll probably take up somewhere in the neighborhood of around 40 gigabytes. If you'd like to uninstall a previous version, simply click the drop down and choose remove, followed by uninstall. These are treated as separate installs. As far as I know, you can't really upgrade between major versions like this. It's a brand new install. At the very bottom, you'll also see that Quixel Bridge is queued for download and that should be downloaded and installed right after this here. Super simple. When it's done, you can come back to the Unreal Engine tab and launch it in the top right. You can click the drop down if you have multiple versions installed to choose the new version and click it to start it up. In the description as well, just for interest sake, you'll find the article talking about what's new in Unreal Engine 5. But anyways, that's really about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno, here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!